You can easily fracture out object and then animate them using physics uh, by using the self fracture add-on. So to enable the add-on, you should go around into edit and then you can go to preferences. So over here, I'm just going to go around and search for the add-on by typing in uh, fracture right here. And you can see object self fracture is there. You can click on it and the self fracture plugin, uh, plugin is uh, enabled. So once you do that, you can go around and now uh, I'm going to select a shape of my choice. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and select out a torus right here. So you can see that this is what I have. So if you have a bit of divisions right here, then it is quite not interesting. You, you got more fractures right here. So uh, to work around with fractures, I'm going to go around over here onto uh, the menu right here. So let's go around into the object menu and over here in quick effects, you can see self fracture once you enable out that plugin. So once you click on this, you get the option right here. So I can go for randomized noise. So I'm just going to increase up the noise. So uh, the factoring is randomized right here. And you can go around onto source limit right here and then uh, select out what you want as well. You can work around with the scale of the factors as well. You can increase and decrease this out uh, according to how you like. So you can experiment the, with this around as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to press OK and it uh, analyzes the fracture and according to the shape, you can see that it has applied the fracture. But now you can see that it is a bit weird, but that is normal. So uh, what I'm going to do is apply physics onto this. So I'm going to go to object right here. And now I'm going to go to rigid body and make this active. So I'm going to simply say add active, press the play button, and you can see that the fracture falls down. This is the original object as you can see, and that is the fractured one on the bottom. So I'm going to delete the original one out right here. So you can see that this is what you have and you got the fracture right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and bring in a base which this can collide with. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard and then bring in a plane right here. I'm just gonna scale this out just like this. And now I'm going to press Shift A again and I'm going to go around bring in a spear right here. Let me just move this onto the side right here. And maybe to make it interesting, let me say this smooth as, as well. So now for both of these objects, I'm going to select this. You can go around and then in the object, I'm going to apply a rigid body and make this passive right here. Similarly, I'm going to go around and then go around into the rigid body, make this passive as well. So if I were to press the play button, you can see that now there's the fracturing effect going on right here. So everything, it turns into pieces, as you can see, and looks quite interesting. You can see that there's the fracture right here, just like that. Similarly, you can have multiple flat fractures as well. So I'm going to go around right here and I'm going to bring in a UV sphere right here. Let me bring this on the top right here, just like this. And let me bring this to the slide side and add in factor to this as well. I'm going to go around into object and then I'm going to uh, first of all, add in fracture. So I'm going to go to quick effects, cell fracture right here. I'm going to leave the settings as it is, add and that, and you can see that it has generated the fracture. So now I'm going to go around into object right here. I'm going to go around into rigid body, add active, press play, and you can see that that falls down as well. I'm just going to delete out the original one. And now let's see the effect right here. So there's multiple factors right here. And I can see that everything just goes around right here. And there you go. That's the fractured out object right here. From the beginning, everything smashes out all together. And I can see it makes for a great animation right here. The physics, everything, you don't need to do anything else. They just fracture out just like that. And it smashes down just like that, as you can see. And that is how you can work around with the self fracture add-on inside of Blender. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.